Hey YouTube, Oxide here, and as promised, I'm gonna give you my opinions on the 1.0.3 update coming for Diablo 3 soon, and unfortunately, this is not something that I'm happy about. I thought I was going to be, I thought maybe they'd be making some positive changes, but I'm horribly mistaken, in my opinion anyway. Um, first and foremost, Easy Craft, that's what they're doing. As they do with a lot of their games now, everything that they release just keeps getting easier and easier and more player friendly, which is cool for the mass population and for them getting money, but not cool for hardcore gamers that want to invest a lot of time into these things. They're making the drop rates much better in the sense that they're making higher level gear accessible in lower levels of Inferno, like you can get Act 3 Inferno gear in Act 1 now, which I don't think is the right answer for that. I don't think that's the best thing that they can do, personally. On top of that, they're nerfing Act 2. All of the uh, mobs are going to be doing a little less damage, and they figure that there's too much of a wall between Act 1 and Act 2, which I get, but I think they should be making Act 1 a little bit harder, and maybe making Act 2 a little bit less, you know what I mean? So it's less nerfing, more balancing. That's the way I see it. Um, on top of nerfing that, they're also, when you have more than one person in a game now, that no longer affects the damage output of the enemies. They no longer do more damage if you have more people in your party. That's been around since Diablo 2. I don't think they should change it, but we'll see how it works out. Um, one major thing, higher repair costs, I don't think that's necessary at all. I think that with the money sinks that they have in the game already, like, blacksmithing and jewel crafting. I don't think it's even... I don't think repair costs should even be in question. And last but not least, on the negative sides of things, they're making a game limit. You can only make a certain amount of games per hour, I think it is now. So, that's going to eliminate runs. You won't be able to do your pygmy runs, your treasure chest runs, any of the runs that I covered. All gone, done, because you won't be able to make as many games as you were able to. So... They're trying to they're trying to get everyone to basically do the whole Nephilim Valor thing and go to the boss, which they're also nerfing. They're nerfing bosses. They only drop one rare instead of two, guaranteed. So they were already nerfed. I don't, I don't think they should be nerfed more. I think bosses are really easy, and I think they should be fixing bosses and making them harder and making their gear, yeah, making them drop better gear as opposed to worse gear. Just opinion. At least there's a couple of good things coming out of this. The legendaries, they've noted, suck, so they're not going to suck as much anymore, hopefully. That's what they're going for. And they're making the, the lower end gems, like up to flawless square rubies and topazes and whatever, uh, they're making that cost less gold. But as for the things such as like perfect stars and whatnot, that's still going to cost the same price. They're not changing any of those. So. That's it. That's 1.0.3. Not happy about it. I don't know if this is the game I'm going to be sticking to. It seems very, very improbable right now. But we'll see how things go. That's it. Oxide signing off. Bye-bye.